Hi everyone, I wish you are doing well this Monday and I, w I wanted to talk about uh, a topic which came to mind which is we are uh, we have things in common but we are not the same we have things in common but we are different so uh, what do I mean by that when we create relationships when we meet with someone we always um, are looking for a matching relationship for us to match for us to match our vibes and to be able to communicate and conversate what we wish to communicate and conversate and also uh, give uh, receive feedback from that person from that relationship from that environment and uh, be able to uh, relate <coughs> which is share things in common and that's how we connect many times we connect uh, by by different uh, reasons and many times uh, we have uh, things in common that might be the reason that we connect with each other that we relate right but um, if that is something that is not a long-term kind of connection if it's not uh, something you can uh, relate with a person and it's the only reason you relate to that person and for uh, you know every day we change every day we create something better for ourselves and uh, that might be many times the reason why a relationship ends because we changed or that person changed and uh, things are not the same and you are not able <clears throat> to maintain the relationship because there has to be a common uh, ground for both of you to be able to uh, share um, your uniqueness, your differences, your um, different experiences where you can share together in that connection, in being uh, connected by something, by some intention. So basically, that's what relationships are. And uh, we have to always remember that even if we, uh, if I was born the same day in the same place at the same time as another person, we share we share that in common, right? But we do not, uh, we are not the same spirit. We are different spirits um, with a similar vehicle, uh, because even our parents are. Uh, different so that would be something even with your twin if, even if it's the same parent you share parents in common but yet you are both uh, you have both a different way to think about things or a similar but there will always be uh, a thing that makes you unique there will always be something that you do and how you do those things will be different so the intention will be different will be unique will be uh, individual right so whenever we connect on common grounds okay we share things in common we share same interests in common for example we have we have the uh, common ways to talk about things whatever uh, or we have common interests in certain uh, in certain um, information in certain uh, things and we mm, oh I lost my point okay okay let's go let's go let's go uh, I was saying that uh, we share the common grounds uh, we share a common uh, endeavor whatever and we bring something different to the table and that's many times when uh, a certain person might not like you whatever whatever uh, because um, it doesn't match with what they need it's something that they do not relate with you with they are relating with you on some level but if they do not relate to, with you if you haven't yet shared uh, how you really are, meaning 
uh, you're, you're the, you are not just showing that person what you have in common with that, with her or with him or with that thing, with, um, with that spirit, but you also uh, show your differences, show what you uh, got to offer to the person that might not have so much of that. And the other person has to see if it really needs that, you know? So no matter how much we share common grounds, there will always be something different about us, each an unique individual. So we have to show that to the other person as soon as we as, as soon as possible, because that would clear a lot of questions, that would clear the space for us to know, okay, should I continue in this? In this, should, do I need all this energy? Because many times it might be an energy that I already have. I don't need more of that energy. That's just friction. That's not complementary. Like the the those opposites complement each other. So that's really uh, what it's about. And um, we share common and common things and similarities for us to connect and be able to uh, be be able to uh, create a connection uh, around those unique around those common and uh, common grounds and our uniquenesses be able to complement each other so we don't bring too much of the same to the table right we are doing uh, we might be doing a little bit of a different job, but we are always connected. Through, uh, I might like to paint and you might like to do music. It doesn't mean that we are different like that. We just do something, uh, what we really want in the moment, what we really, uh, what we dream of and the other, and the partner supports that and we have a place to share our experiences, a place to sit down and talk with each other and connect and share experiences and say what we desire and what we have accomplished. Things that really help and uh, build strong, a stronger relationship. If that relationship makes you feel good, if that relationship makes you feel safe, if that relationship, if you know that relationship is helping you break some uh, generational curses, things like that, which is always very good if an individual is with you that understands you, that is able to hear you and that is able to give you good advice for you to be able to think for yourself and not for uh, everyone else and you and them and be the, the bread, the only breadwinner, you know what I'm saying? So I wish this video was helpful and uh, yeah, I will see you next time. Shout out to the Soul Group. Shout out to Esoteric Cloud Surfer. I'm going to leave his page down below as well as my art page down below in the description. And I wish you have a beautiful Monday, a beautiful Mars Day, whatever, uh, whenever you are watching this. And I see you next time. Bye bye.